I'm uh, Sophie Barr, I'm an artist and I have a studio at uh, Euroart in Tottenham, which is where we are now. Yeah, I think I'm never drawn, I, I don't ever start with a material really, it's not, oh, you know, I'm working with clay and seeing what the, what the clay does, or I'm working with drawing and seeing what the drawing does. I normally come at something, you know, there's already an established visual tradition of, of something, I don't know, like museum display or... Um, I don't know, botanical drawings or kitsch postcards um, or family photographs. So there, there's these existing um, things already in the world and I like to kind of play with those, whether I'm borrowing them or whether I'm recreating them. So there's never really a sort of authenticity in, in what I'm doing. We don't know if they're my photographs or someone else's photographs or if they're taken from the internet. I'm definitely really interested in how uh, in our digital age and how this mass circulation of digital images has changed how we approach, how we understand and how we make images. You know, you can Google search for something uh, on Google Images and completely mad things will come up. And I really like that. I think that's kind of almost a surrealist practice in a way. Although there is an ambiguity to these collections of images that also we will make up our own stories about them and I do play with that, I suppose, and you know, try and suggest some kind of um, some kind of story, some kind of narrative. In, in a sense, all of the work is to do with my changing relationship with the nature of photography, really. And I think that you know, I think photography is just su it's such an interesting moment. Um, not that I would call myself a photographer. I'm someone who's extreme, an artist who's extremely interested in, in photographs and photography, its history and its future. I guess the point about art for me is that it's not an instant message. We're bombarded with instant messages all the time, you know, with advertising and, you know, just the most banal... Te I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a bit of banal TV, but, um, you know, where things that you know what's coming. So, I th you know, for, for me, art is a place where some of you might not know what's coming, and that's maybe a kind of retreat in a way, or uh, a celebration of things that maybe take a little bit more time not necessarily difficult, um, but just a repositioning and looking again. For, for me, theory and practice definitely have a relationship that's sometimes closer, sometimes further apart, and, um, but I, for, they've always, you know, I think it's, there's a lot to be said for just going away and making some stuff and not necessarily knowing why. Um, and I think similarly with, you know, it, it can maybe damage an artwork sometimes to theorise it too much and there's a kind of just a sort of a thereness and you know just something that works and you don't necessarily know why. I know that sounds a bit mysterious and romantic but you know good. <laughs>